Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Taurus. Taurus, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on, and I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Taurus for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Taurus, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, we've got the King of Cups. That's your energy. Ooh, you're viewing your person as a Scorpio, the death card. And you're viewing the connection as the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, Taurus, so maybe you've ended things here. You know, the Scorpio reading was kind of intense about an ending. So you might want to check that out. It's your opposite sign or if you have Scorpio placements or you're dealing with one. Wow. All right. Capricorn energy, the devil. They're viewing you as the Eight of Swords in reverse. And they're viewing the connection as the Six of Wands in reverse. Hmm. What has happened here? I feel you've got a new passionate beginning, something you've been waiting for, waiting for your ships to come in, possibly with a Pisces person or high priestess could be a cancer. Trust your intuition here, Taurus. We've got hanged man Pisces energy coming through really strong. Things are about to get moving in your love life, Taurus. King of Cups, you've got a lot of love to give. I feel like you're in a very balanced energy. I also love seeing that sailboat in the background because the sailboat there is like, you've got your ships coming in. You've got something coming towards you that you're not even, you're not, you're not seeing. You're focusing on you and that's exactly what you need to be doing right now. Yeah, seven of wands, energy in reverse. I feel a lot of my Taurus, you've been rejecting offers or you've just been working on building up your strength and your courage. You maybe have been focusing on your business, on your health, on your body. The death and rebirth card tells me that you have somebody very intense here, but I think you're seeing things as over with whomever this person is. Yeah, queen of wands in reverse. Somebody who either has a temper, somebody who maybe you found out was, you know, like really promiscuous or was a cheater or something like that, because the double queen of wands in reverse indicates a very passionate, very sexually driven energy but it's, it's, it runs hot, it runs fast, it fizzles out quickly, or there's a lot of drama here. And I think, I think you're ending it here, Taurus, with somebody who maybe you just don't see any long-term connection. Like I said, I think the physical attraction was fantastic, but I, there's something here that you're seeing that are major red flags about this connection. I think you're ready to move in a different direction. And hopefully for a lot of my Taurus, this Queen of Wands energy, again, could definitely be a player. It could be somebody who has anger or aggression issues. I think you're ready to cut them off. I think you're ready to move in a new direction. Now, the devil is Capricorn energy, so they could have Capricorn in their chart. But I also feel like this is a strong indication that you've got some sort of toxic karmic soulmate here. Some of you, you may have been married to this person, all right, with the king of, uh, king of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, or some of you, maybe you found out this person was married. Again, really strong uh, ties to the Scorpio reading. So the Eight of Swords in reverse, this person feels like you're avoiding them, most likely, and hopefully you are, Taurus, because I feel this person, I, I feel like they're no good or they're no good for you. And they definitely want you to come back around. They spend a lot of time wondering about you. I feel they're trying to manifest you. This person might even come in and chase. But, you know, the Six of Wands energy. It's like this person, I don't know if they're a breadcrumber. I don't know. if I just feel like they create a lot of drama. This is the type of person that's going to block you, unblock you, block you, unblock you, you know, all the time. They're going to slam doors. They're going to hang up on you. They're going to try to make you jealous. They're going to create fights and arguments. They're probably going to, you know, like act a fool out in public with, you know, friends and family, you know, creating scenes is what I'm getting. Yeah. And we get this person is not over you. They don't want to let go of you. They're grieving this connection. But you know what? I'm hearing, you know, tough cookies. I know that's such a silly sort of phrase to use, but you know what? Or, you know, I, I guess I'm keeping it quite PG. You know, it'd be tough S-H-I-T for this person because it feels like they've really messed up here. And what I'm going to focus on here is your new person because Ace of Wands, Spirit saying Taurus, you do have a new beginning here. 
I think this past energy or this person around you, this most likely married, or maybe you're married to them. I don't know. Um, or they could be somebody that you work with or something like that. But I think you've got a new energy and that's what I want to focus on. This new energy, the Ace of Wands. Okay. And the, the King of Wands in reverse. All right. So you might have somebody, you might be a really hesitant here about starting something new. I do also feel this queen of wands, king of wands and reverse energy that you've been dealing with. They're going to be very, very triggered that you're moving on. Okay. Very triggered. The three of wands tells me a lot of you, like I said, you have been dealing with some sort of third party situation. I feel you've been finding balance, healing the seven of wands. Now I see you pushing this, this sort of toxic energy away from you, waiting for your ships to come in. You've got somebody coming in Knight of Wands, they might be coming in. I just heard overseas, but they might be coming in from a distance, a different city, state, or country. Um, this is somebody very fiery and very passionate. I feel like, my Taurus, you're ready for something new. Yep, Eight of Swords in reverse. Get out of a karmic situation. Trust your intuition. The universe is reworking people and situations around for you to move you in a completely different direction, to get you onto a higher vibrational timeline. Nine of Swords energy in reverse tells me the worst is over. Taurus, I don't know who this person is that you've been dealing with. Maybe some of you have been married to. And if that's the case, I'm sorry, because this energy is not good. This energy is a lot of fighting, bickering, arguing, jealousy, um, you know, borderline, you know, abusive energy is what I'm picking up on. And I, and I, and I, I just, I really don't like it for you. And I feel like you're pushing it away, or I feel like you have pushed it away. I feel you have something new, something exciting, something fresh coming in. And again, as I mentioned before, I feel for a lot of you, the worst is over and you've gotten out of survival mode and now it's time to like blossom and grow. And you're getting ready here to, you know, move in, move, move in. I don't know if you're moving in with anybody, but you're moving on with somebody here fiery, hot, passionate. Yeah. So you've been in an empath and narcissist paradigm. It's time to put up strong boundaries here, Taurus. Okay. And yep, it's time to heal, time to do the shadow work. Anything else my Taurus need to know? Okay. Yep. You've got a newer connection coming in. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wanting to date. So hopefully a lot of you this past the energy that I was picking up on is definitely in your rear view mirror. Ooh. And you've got something that's leading to love true love with somebody who's going to mirror your energy in a lot of ways. All right. So I want to focus on who this new person might be. Although I wouldn't, I'm not going to, I wouldn't doubt if we get the narcissist card popping out here with that, this other energy still around you, still hanging out in your energy, but let's focus on this new person. Who is this new person, this romance that's blossoming for my Taurus? Could be somebody who's a little bit older, or a little bit younger than you. It doesn't have to be 10 plus years. Could be a cancer, all right? So ruled by water, a sensitive sign, all right? So somebody who's very protective, very loving, all right? And somebody that may want a large family, has a large family, comes from a large family. Ooh, they could be a cancer Gemini cusp or have both of these in their chart. Symbolized by the twins, ruled by Mercury. They're the thinkers and communicators of the zodiac with many facets. Okay, Taurus, so pay attention to this cancer Gemini person coming your way. Some of you, you might already be talking to this person or you might already know who this new person is. I like their energy. And this person may have lost a loved one in the last year. They may have an unusual hair feature. Okay, I'm kind of getting, for some of you, this person might have like a little bit of like a gray streak in the front, like a natural one. That's not gonna be for all of you. All right, um, they have a pet. All right. And they may have dreams about you. So they're very spiritual. And this person may make something valuable with their own hands. All right. Very nice. And let's see. How else will my Taurus be able to identify this new person coming into their life? Yeah. Something here about family. You may meet through family at a family gathering, again, friend of the family type energy, um, or, you know, through a family member, but this person's looking for partnership commitment, maybe having children, or maybe they do have children. If you have children, this person's not, it's not going to bother them at all. Okay. This person's very sexy, attractive. You're going to find them irresistible and they may have brown, light brown, hazel, or dark brown eyes and they're boss, babe. They're successful. They're self-made. They have their own business here. All right, Taurus, let's keep going. Let's see. 
final messages here regarding this Cancer Gemini energy coming towards you again. And it does not mean that they have to have a Cancer or Gemini in their sun, moon, or rising. They just embody that energy. Spirit saying that it's going to come in unexpectedly, a serendipitous event. Open your heart to this person, Taurus. Yeah, because it feels like they're your forever person or somebody very, very important to you. This is absolutely your soulmate. And pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that the universe is, you know, is telling you, giving you. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Powerful messages here. Um, if they do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Taurus. Take care.